Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW X3, I'm talking about generation guys E83 or F25. And you guys uh, have, doesn't matter if you have a four, six cylinder gasoline diesel engine guys, and you're trying to find out if uh, your alternator diodes are good or bad, how to test alternator diodes, stay with us and we'll explain how to do that today guys. Quick introduction to the channel, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs guys, we make more than four to 500 videos, you probably already know that. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. When we need in return guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you. If you guys need to buy a new alternator or the scanner tester that we'll be using, we'll share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check them out. So, specifically guys, we have two alternators, one is good, one is bad, this is a six cylinder engine. Uh, but even if you have a four six cylinder gasoline diesel the procedure is the same this is a, a good alternator this is bad alternator that we'll be demonstrating on uh, now this is out of another bmw but the concept is the same guys this is out of a bigger engine but the concept is the same uh, first step will be to disconnect your car battery guys okay and if you don't know how to properly disconnect the car battery guys what you need to do which terminal to disconnect first positive or negative we have a video that explains all that and we'll share it in the link in the description of the video below guys why it's so important because if you do not disconnect the car battery the correct way you can gas actually cause damage to the electrical system cause your vehicle on fire or burn electric modules second find the positive charging wire that comes from the alternator to the car battery once you do all that guys okay what you're going to do remove the nut okay and disconnect it now you will be ready to test it we'll demonstrate on this alternator here first this is the good one this is the bad one and see what you should get guys if you're on the market for a good scanner okay this device is amazing nothing sponsored here guys but it we we really like it super accurate as well click on diode settings so click select twice we select diode setting right here now we'll touch the red lead on the casing black lead on the charging wire and we get a reading between 5 and 800 this is great guys if it's between 5 and 800 it's great now when you put the red lead on the charging wire and black lead on the casing you should get no reading nothing at all and that's what the case is with this one here guys now let's demonstrate on the one right here okay what do we have check it out now red on casing black on charging wire the same reading right, that's great but now let's reverse them and see we should get no reading if the alternator diodes are good and okay let's give it a little bit of a scratch perfect we get two guys two so that is that is bad that's a bad diode so when you have the red lead on the charging wire black lead on the casing you should get guys no reading when you reverse them you should get between five and eight hundred hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time